Hey yo, welcome back to the channel and welcome to another video. Today I've got some smoked out Raptor lights and I'm putting them on the OEM grill. Let's get into it. All right, so we are gonna start out with the Raptor lights themselves. I have decided to go with the smoked, if you can see that, the smoked white. Uh, you can go with clear lenses or smoked lenses. You can go with white you can, or amber. And then we're gonna go right across those four slots right there. So I do have the four for the OEM grill. You know, that aligns perfectly with those four slots. So we're gonna start with these. The next thing that comes in the kit is the wiring harness. So you've got the four connectors. These are just plug and play on this side. And then on this side, you've got the ground and then you've got the actual wiring that's gonna connect into the fuse box. And then the last part of this kit is the actual fuse adder as well as the little ground connector. So we're gonna need both of those. We're gonna connect these to the wiring harness plug it in to the lights. But here's the real key to all of this, and that is these clips that I got from 3B Makers off of Etsy. This is what makes it possible to actually put Raptor lights on your OEM grill. And I know there's probably some other uh, makers. These are um, obviously 3D printed, probably some others out there, but this is what I've seen used the most. Now the key is on these is You've got to put the right brackets in the right spot. We'll show you what that looks like. So we shouldn't need to take the grill off. We're just going to work it kind of in here through the back. First, we'll put the lights into those little brackets. Then we'll put them in the right order right here on the back, wire them up, run the wire harness, connect it into the fuse box. At least that's the plan. Okay, so if you can see that, this one says outside right. There's an outside left, there's a center right, and there's a center left. So these are specifically designed to go in very specific spots on the OEM grill. And this one being outside right, it's going to go here, outside left, center left, center right. And it doesn't appear that it matters which light goes into which bracket. It's really just that you get the right bracket in the right spot on the grill. So we'll just push those in. They snap in there nicely. Definitely very snug in there. We'll do that with all four of them and then we'll be able to start plugging them into the grill. What I found was easiest to, was actually to put the clip in, get it in and secure first, and then just thread the Raptor lights into it. On the pro style or heritage grill, that's all you're doing is really threading these in. So I'm gonna put the brackets in first and then work on putting the lights in after. All right. So I got a flashlight here to kind of help you see just because it's that black on black on that smoked out grill, but just like that. And then go ahead, once you got that in place, then then you just slide these right in. All right, just like that. Now I did find that it was a little bit easier. I did find that it was a little bit easier to put my hand in. Just kind of make sure to hold this and secure it in place while I put that in there. Hard to do that and hold the camera. But now those are in place. Again, I went with the smoked out. I just kind of like how it looks with the grill. Let's go ahead and get the wiring harness going. One by one, we'll go ahead and just click those in place. So for this part, these are really simple. They're just plug and play. Let's get all four of those connected. All right, so next we're gonna connect the ground to the ground wire, then we'll crimp it in place. We'll go ahead and thread this into here, get that in place. We'll go ahead and just clamp that down. Make sure it's good and tight so it's not gonna come out. And you don't need to do this, but for good measure, I'm just gonna throw a little bit of electric tape on there as well, just to keep it 
just to make sure that it's not going anywhere. Using a 10 millimeter socket, we're gonna take this off so we can go ahead and put this in. Now what we're gonna do is we're going to use the little tool. We're gonna pull out the fuse and you just need to decide where you want it. So kind of shining a light in here, you can see this right here is the fuse that will enable the Raptor lights to be on all the time, basically with your daytime running lights. Down here, if you put it in this spot, that very bottom one right there, that is going to make it so they go on with your headlights and that's actually what I'm thinking about doing. All right, so we installed the brackets into the OEM grill, then ran the Raptor lights through there, went and took the wiring harness, right? Connected the wiring harness through here, looped it around. You can see it's still loose. Then we came over, plugged it into the Atta fuse, added the ground in there. And before we go ahead and tuck everything in, Going to use some zip ties to kind of clean everything up, get everything tight right now. You got a bunch of wires that are loose, but before that, I'm going to make sure everything works. Bam! Look at that. It's a bright white. Obviously, I don't have the LEDs here, so I need to do something about that, but we'll get some night shots of it. But you can see how that looks. Those four Raptor lights right across there. It's a great look, adds some nice style. And now you know, you can do it with the OEM grill. All right, overall, this is not a very difficult install. You're looking at maybe 10 or 15 minutes, probably at the most, uh, especially with this kind of a video to be able to show you exactly what to do. So if this is the kind of mod you're looking for, I'll go ahead and I'll link below to 3B Makers for the brackets and Tacoma Lifestyles for the Raptor lights. Now, go ahead and like, go ahead and subscribe, and we'll catch you in the next video. Peace out.